How's it going with Fontaine CC and this is WNXP. Sorry about this morning For the damage I will pay All the mirrors face the walls And I wake just too long for bed Love, what's got you so down low the saddest song is in your head I forget the thrill of lies the truth escaping through the eyes you you Voices on the phone that once were spent on me The world has changed beyond our doorstep People talk and dress so strange And I don't know our neighbour's name And all of life is Rearranged. Nice to know that you're still caring well enough to raise your voice. But if we must bring up the past, then please don't speak to me of choice. Roman Holiday. Come on, get stone, get stone, get inside it, inside it, inside it, inside it, get along, get long, get long, get young, get Heard about the week on the daily mud seat, yeah. Baby, come on, father, go and get gone. Heard you lie to the major, it won't be long. Well, I wish upon a wedding for a picture in the style. When they knock for you, don't forget who you are. Skinty fear. Mm. 
Oh baby, come on, whose side are you on? I don't want to see the Queen, I already sing a song While they're snuffing out hoes and blotting out suns They claim to know the form in which genius comes Oh baby, come on, get your high heels on It's the body is cold, it's the course is wrong What atlas living, all the soft pain thrills What calamities usher all our brilliance to the hills Can you feel it? Chancing on, but you know what I'm saying. A day will come, can you feel it? song with Sinead O'Connor. Margaret Thatcher on TV Shocked by the deaths that took place in Beijing Seems strange that she should be offended The same orders were given by her I've said this before now You said it was childish and you'll say it now Remember what I told you If they hated me they will hate you England's not the mythical land of Madame George and Roses It's the home of police who kill black boys on mopeds And I love my boy, and that's why I'm leaving I don't want him to be aware that there's any such thing as grieving Young mother down at Smithfield 5 a.m. looking for food for her kids In her arms she holds three cold babies And the first word that they learn is please These are dangerous days To say what you feel is to make your own grave Remember what I told you If you were of the world, they would love you England's not the mythical land of Madame George and Roses It's the home of police who kill black boys on mopeds And I love my boy, and that's why I'm leaving I don't want him to be aware that there's any such thing as grieving Hey, it's Celia in the Sonic Cathedral here at WNXP with members of Fontaine's DC who are touring through Nashville. Welcome, guys. Thank you for playing some songs for us. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. us. There you go. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. If you could just say everything in unison, that would be great. I was looking at your mouth waiting for you to say that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I got good vowel sounds. You did have a bit of a lovey, like, thanks, it's good to play guitar with you. Do you guys, are you still still enjoying playing music together? No, that was entirely sarcastic. <laughs> I, I thought you were filming, so. <laughs> well, you're getting to tour your newest record, Skintifia, but also all of your records have come out in this, like, bizarro world that we've been in in the last few years, at least yeah. in this country, but worldwide for sure, your last two records. How's it feel to be on the road and communing with fans and getting to play this, you know, catalog of music? Yeah, it feels great. Um, yeah, I think every time we come over to every time we've come over to America, it's kind of like gotten stronger, and obviously that's what you want to happen. So um, it's nice to do this route as well. Like we've toured the kind of more northern, like hopping into Canada the odd time, like uh, more than we've done the kind of southern route, and it's fun. I, I really like um, obviously like here in Texas and stuff like that. It's like way more kind of culture uh, shock. You know, it's just where <laughs> all these things kind of like pushed up into your face that are, uh, yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. Can you say something more about that culture pushed in your face? <laughs> <laughs> like, give an example. Um, I don't know. Like, well, the first time I came over here, I just thought it was wild when you see, like, a skyline of, like, fast food chains oh. in the distance, you know, which, like, I don't know, it's just insane. They're, they're, like, uh, they're like monuments, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we're, we're so proud. Mm -hmm. um, but you all live in a big city now, right? Are you both based in London currently? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, L London's London's kind of like, you know, um, it's just like loads and loads of like villages or towns or something mm. like that, you know. And it's not really it doesn't really have that kind of same. Um, like Dublin was was more of a kind of classic city, mm. albeit small. But uh, yeah, London London is kind of sprawling, you know. Um, but I'm actually I'm actually leaving London now. Oh. Yeah. Be out of here. Got to get back to the sea. Okay, I was going to ask about the transition to London, but it sounds like it's been sort of a short stay, and now you're over it. I've been there for two and a half years. Yeah. Um, and now, like, I'm. Uh, it's it's not that I'm. I mean, I still like it, uh, and I might end up going back. But it's just to go from like seven months on the road touring to, you know, fast-paced life in London. I think I just need to wind down a bit more. You know, mm, I yeah. grew up by the sea as well, and I miss it. You miss it. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about some of the sentiments that went into the songs on this newest record? And just, you know, obviously you were living in the same times we're all living in, but uh, personally maybe what went into these songs? It was heavily inspired by that move to London, you mm. know. Um, I fell in love with a girl and went over there. Uh, yeah. um, and uh, we've been living together for like the last two, two and a half years. Um, and... I don't know. Uh, just a kind of our, our Irishness was always a very sort of key part of our identity as a band, musically and everything. Um, and it was nuanced somewhat when we went to London. You know, it was a kind of you see you see the kind of like um, you know you, you see you see it be a thing in other people's eyes when they when they talk to you. Do you know what I mean? And uh, it's quite disconcerting for a while. And also, it's you know a lot of it is like makes you feel very lonely, mm. you know, like uh, getting asked to like repeat yourself because your your accent's hilarious to them, you know, and shit like that. Um, and I think it's a, uh, yeah, like we had some rough moments with it as well, you know, and I think that's always going to filter into the into the writing process, but it's just kind of, there's there's, there's good and bad to it, you know. Um, also, there's, there's a kind of, there's like a sweet satisfaction in, being a kind of gang of people that are all facing the same sort of uh, just undercurrent of um, you know this isn't this isn't where you're from mm. and and being sort of like I don't know finding that like a uh, an adhesive in your group you know is kind of nice for a while. Yeah, you've been able to further bond over that. that yeah. Move. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I I was thinking this morning when I was running to your record <laughs> that you know people might describe the music of Fontaine's DC as moody, but like, what does that even mean? All music is moods transition to, yeah, you know, yeah. to melodies and whatnot. But there's also, do you, do you find joy in playing these songs? Like it's, d despite the tonality of it, uh, can you square that for me? Like the joy in playing music uh, and maybe the concepts behind the music being less joyful? Music is just my best friend and mm. always will be, always has been. It was like, it's it never, never lies to you, never leaves you, it always understands you, you know, yeah. and um, I think it's like, you know, people have come and gone in my life and music's always been there. I know that sounds mm. like really cheesy, but like oh. it's, uh, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> I'll make that face. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's just like, you know, I've only recently 
started uh, taking a guitar to, I don't know, just like having a guitar within arm's length at all time, mm. you know, and um, it's made a massive difference to like my mental health and my sense of identity. And, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you can see yourself on a page, you know, you can see yourself in a song. Mm. It's um, the only time I ever feel like sort of socializing is like after after a period of, of writing and um, because I feel like, I think I think I feel like my identity is a little bit squared and I'm sort of like, my self-worth is kind of there and all that kind of crack, you know? Hmm. Why did you choose to play that Sinead O'Connor song after your answer about leaving London? It kind of makes more sense, but you told me off, off camera, she's a huge inspiration of yours vocally. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> Uh, like I, I wish I could sing like her. Yeah, I wouldn't say like you know. Yeah, she inspired my vocals. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um, um, you know, with all the stuff that's going on in London at the moment as well. You know, like the the passing of the Queen and stuff like that. And then uh, I think on the same same day or the same couple of days, um, the story behind that song of of uh, of uh, a, a, a London policeman killing a, a black civilian, an unarmed man. That happened around that time again, you know, and uh, it just seems like unbelievably prevalent, you know, the the political state of things and stuff like that, the the Thatcherism kind of, um, and uh, also yeah, she's got a new uh, or th there's a new documentary about Sinead coming out, and uh, we were luckily invited to the premiere of it in in uh, in L.A. and yeah, it's just kind of it's very very inspiring because of how. Um, I thought she 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 makes everyone else every other you know every other artist that I can think of really makes them all look like uh, you know absolute wusses. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and people are afraid to say anything and stuff, you know. And she's just she was just always incredibly forthright with with her opinions and uh, yeah, and inspired me to to play it today. Yeah, courageous. Okay, I have to address that you're wearing an Outcast shirt. So for both of you, were there any American artists, especially like turn of the century stuff that? you think influenced your music, or at least you bonded over as you started your band? Um, I don't know, probably the big one when we started this band was the Strokes. Um, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, I don't know, the, the kind of blueprint or the archetype of like the two guitars, bass drums, lead vocalist kind <laughs> of thing was just like, I don't know, at, at that time in, du in Dublin, like 2013, and there just wasn't really many bands around. It kind mm. of faded into a lot of like, singer-songwriters, which is like great as well, but we, we just thought it would be interesting to try that kind of band format, and that was a kind of solid uh, blueprint to start from, and then obviously went down a million different avenues away from that, but yeah. And then Outcast as well. Uh, yeah, well like... Uh, just a I good find at a thrift store, maybe. That's just a great shirt. I th I think, no, I think Andre is one of my favorite artists yeah. ever. Uh, I think that like one thing that he does, um, which I think is really really worth sort of noticing and and thinking about is like he uh i think i think all of his tunes always sound you know um like the like the hundredth version of that song mm. but at the same time they they sound completely spontaneous do you know what i mean so they sound like i think like if you take like hey yeah for example like do you know what i mean all the like which song i'm just kidding <laughs> if you like all the like all right all right all right and all that kind of stuff it's like i don't know it's like um he's he's nailed the song years and years ago and now he's just completely fucking with it like you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's, it's dancing all over it and it's just pure freedom um a genius like honestly i think it's actual genius yeah. are you guys um multiple multiple rounds of a song perfectionistic about getting it laid down for record or at least this time not really like um i like editing uh lyrics mm -hmm. but um i don't know it's, uh, it's to, to i think to us the song is kind of has to has to be spontaneous and stuff like that and i don't i don't really I got. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting into, um, to trying to sort of like uh, go over things and stuff like that. But uh, honestly, most of our tunes are like written in the time that it takes to play them, and then that's sort of it. You know what I mean? Well, it's working. So. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Have fun tonight and the rest of this tour. And. Thank you. We'll catch you back around the bend. Sound. Cheers. Right. See you later. Cheers.